student teaching in Jeanette's um, school district in McKee Elementary School. I'm in a third grade classroom and I absolutely love it. It's been quite a challenge at times but it's also very rewarding and I love getting to know the kids and just getting a little taste of what I'm going to do for the rest of my life. I've been uh, uh, really impressed with St. Vincent University as I learn more and more about your graduates and work with some of your graduates. Uh, Greg Fight was the governor's chief of staff, a St. Vincent graduate. In my office, the deputy secretary of administration is Mike Walsh, uh, and I just meet one after another. And every time I meet a St. Vincent grad, uh, it's always uh, top class. And your graduates throughout the world uh, are leading the way. How many first graders, what's the percentage of first graders that know how to use a mouse? Or how to tie their shoes. And what will I know? Yeah, 91% knew how to use a mouse, but they didn't know how to tie their shoes. That's changed like tremendously. Like, when I went to school, yeah, most of the time we knew how to tie your shoes. Well, I am currently pre student teaching, and I go one day a week to Norwood Middle School, and I have classes of seventh graders. I teach five pre algebra classes and one algebra class, and I love being in the classroom. I love it. It is so much fun. You really get a taste of being in the real world and experiencing what you're going to be doing for the rest of your life. And it's just, it's, it's, it's wonderful to be in the classroom and be making a difference. We need people who are up on the current educational practices, a lot of cooperative learning, a lot of differentiated instruction skills. of the Step Up Enrichment Program here on campus. And that involves, that, that's an outreach to our homeschool community. Homeschool children in the area come to campus every Friday for 10 weeks each semester. And they participate in enrichment courses. These enrichment courses are taught by our St. Vincent College students, actually who are enrolled in my ED206 class. And each college student develops his or her own course and a series of, of lessons based upon that course. Make sure that those desired results are goals, that they're big, um, that you want, what you want students to remember later in life, okay? education offers opportunity in daycare or preschool type of facilities. That is a wonderful experience. education at the forefront of this economy uh, like never before uh, and for a good reason. Forefront in this world like never before. It's a changing world, changing dynamics. I'm sure you're hearing that uh, in everything you're working on uh, with folks in at St. Vincent's in your classroom and, and outside of it. Teaching, I think it's really exciting to finally get in the classroom and what's most exciting is to be able to interact with the students. Um, you learn so much about lesson planning and the strategies for teaching and now I'm actually getting to apply all of those in the classroom. We would look for uh, teachers that are, are willing to, if they're not dual certified in another area, like uh, special education, foreign language, uh, to be willing to go back uh, to add to their certificate. Now, so if you could turn the light on and put a light underneath of the bed, and you could get down there and look underneath of the bed first, if you could see what was there, 
you probably wouldn't be as scared. I know I wouldn't be as scared if I had to do that. How about you? I don't think I would be either. Because I could see I could see everything that I was looking at. And it's by not seeing what you're looking at that I think our fear comes from.